Have you ever seen a galaxy? Now, I'm not talking about a picture of a galaxy taken by a billion dollar space telescope like the Hubble or the James Webb Space Telescope. I'm talking about a picture taken by your own telescope from your own backyard. A lot of people have this idea that astrophotography is just not beginner friendly. But what everybody needs to remember is that those who are taking super advanced space pictures now were once beginners as well. And thankfully, there are now new tools that allow beginners to learn more about astrophotography and advance in the hobby. These tools that I'm referring to now are known as smart telescopes, and I'm going to be using one of these to perform my most extensive project ever in astrophotography. 100 hours on one deep sky object. This right here is the ZWO C-Star S30 Smart Telescope. It is one of the most well-known telescopes for being extremely beginner friendly, uh, great for those who are getting started in astrophotography. It features a focal length of only 150 millimeters, which is great for deep sky objects such as the beautiful Andromeda Galaxy and the Great Orion Nebula. When I first began astrophotography, the first smart telescope that I ever owned was the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. The Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope was a great tool for me to learn the ropes of astrophotography, but taking a look at my first astro image of M51, yeah, I'm not, I'm not super proud of that picture. But now that I've advanced more in astrophotography, I figured why not give it another go? Why not shoot M51 again with a newer smart telescope, the Seastar S30, with a whole lot more exposure time to see what kind of an image I can get with that. If you're new to astrophotography, something you should know is that the most difficult thing about it is not learning about the galaxies and learning about the nebula or learning how to process. Oftentimes the most difficult thing about it is finding a clear night to do it. It took 20 days to reach 98 hours of total exposure time. I'm now just a couple of hours away from the 100 hours goal, and it is absolutely freezing outside. As expected, Seastar took some absolutely beautiful sub exposures of M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, uh, thanks to the new equatorial mode implemented by ZWO. I'm really excited to see all of these sub frames stacked into one glorious picture of our night sky taken through this tiny lens of this telescope.